in the last video we created a program that uh, uh, our first application our first uh, IoT application based on using uh, Quantiki that is uh, run on Quantiki operating system uh, and which is application that will uh, uh, that will be blinking the LED uh, on an IoT device when a button is being pressed is being clicked it is going to be uh, it will turn on the LED light and when it is click again it's going to turn it off uh, so which uh, you basically need a user interacting with it uh, via the clicking of a button now in this program we are going to be creating a similar program but uh, it is different in the in the sense that it, is, it doesn't require any user interaction to click a button we are going to make use of a timer so uh, based on the time if a time has expired after a certain time has elapsed then the led light will blink on and when a certain time has uh, elapsed as well then it's going to uh, turn off so it's going to toggle between on and off based on the time that we have set it so uh, and this will illustrate the usage of a uh, event timer in the Contiki uh, operating uh, system so this um, first what i'm going to do i'm going to create a file Control new and I'm going to save it as uh, blinker.c. Uh, this is where I am. We're going to under YouTube blinker. This is the folder we are going to store our uh, program in. So save it as blinker.c. So blinker.c. So blinker.c. I'm going to save it. So now I'm going to start creating this particular program as usual. This is a uh, blinker, a blinker program. A LED blinker, uh, a LED LED, uh, a LED uh, blinker application, application. So, so next thing we are going to do, we are going to import our header files. So import header files, the necessary header files that this program will require. Import header files. So uh, as usual, we know that we need the. Uh, Contiki header file hash include Contiki.h uh, Contiki.h Next we know we need uh, we need uh, our lead so dev slash uh, leads.h Also we need uh, uh, before we go to the uh, standard input output, we all, we need the for the timer we need uh, the head time the event timer header file so sys slash uh, e timer dot h e timer dot h so uh, and then we need our standard input output header file for printf so that should include stdio dot h so stdio st standard input output header file dot h dot h we need it so we have successfully our imported our header files now we can uh, start writing our program uh, we know that the first thing we need to do is process declaration so process declaration declaration so we say process the name of the process blinker process blinker uh, process so and then a printable uh, string uh, that will show when this process has started a blinker process so let me say a blinker process a blinker process then we want we want the uh, kickstart kick the process when Contiki loads when Contiki has boot. So what we need to do is to make it of the auto start macro. So auto start, auto start processes, and then we pass the address of this particular blinker. So address of Blinker process. Blinker process. So I call the address of blinker, the blinker process. So here we are. We have declared the process. We have auto start, start the process uh, at, at uh, boot time. 
now we need to uh, declare process trait so declare process trait so declare uh, process trait so uh, process trade as we did in the first program and then so here I can see and and process trade so let me write this something here we know we need we're going to pass the name of the process blinker process blinker process and then two callback functions event and data event and data so I'm going to say end uh, to show that this particular uh, 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 brace is for this particular uh, process trade blinker process so the next thing we're going to uh, start our process by writing this particular instruction so process begin process begin now this will mark the start of the process so the first thing we need to do we are going to uh, create a structure e timer structure that uh, that we are going to create our timer with so I'm going to say static uh, struct uh, e timer 80 so I'm creating uh, et which is an instance of this structure e timer and I want it to be static so that the value uh will remain uh in between uh function calls the value of the uh et will remain fixed the value will not uh change so uh static stroke e timer et now next i'm going to uh start my infinite loop while true i want the program to execute i want the computer to execute the following instructions so also here let me copy this and say end uh, while true so now i'm going to set the timer so e timer using this particular function e timer dot set i want to set the timer i'm going to pass the address of the timer structure that i created e timer and then using this value clock uh second uh, I will declare the number of seconds that I want the timer to uh, take before it fires off. So I can set it one second or two seconds or three seconds. So, and for that, let me let me create a macro here, a symbolic constant. I'll call it hash defined seconds. Let me set it to one second or two seconds. Let me set it two seconds. After every two seconds, the blinker will be blinking so and then here i'll just say seconds seconds okay close this so after every two seconds the fire the timer will fire off will fire off okay then now i can declare my process wait event until process wait event until something happens until what happens uh, uh, when okay so until the timer expires so whenever the timer expires then I want uh, uh, something to be done so process wait the uh, the program shall halt at this stage until something happens until the timer expires before continuing to the next line of code which is going to be in line number 31 so uh, I want it. We have make use of this function e timer expired, and then I'm going to pass the address of the timer that I created, et. So after the program when it comes to line 30, the program will stop. It won't proceed to the next line of code until this particular event has happened, and that event is the expiration of this timer. So after every two seconds, the timer will expire, and then. The line of code will continue to the next line the instruction that i'm going to write now and what i want the program to do is to turn on the lights so let's on and i can specify the light now and i want let dot uh, uh let me go with green so i want the green uh, led to be turned on so this is just as simple as this 
so and then after turning it on now now i want to turn it off now, after turning it off i want it, it to remain on for two seconds and then turn off so i'll just copy this copy this and then just paste it here, and then just make the necessary changes so here remain e timer set it's a setting of the timer remains and then process wait event until uh, process wait event until e timer expired then i don't and i'm not on it see it is already on now now i want to turn it off so let's off so the program is just as simple as this so and then after and now i finish writing the uh my code logic what i want the the core cool functionality of the program now i can uh mark the end of the process so i can say process end process end so it is just as simple as this uh, just as simple as this now this program will create a late and uh it will be turning on and turning off the uh, green LED light until uh, for two seconds. Turn it on for two seconds and then turn it off for two seconds. Turn it on for two seconds and then turn it off for two seconds. So this is it. Now the next thing we just need, we need our make file. So I will just copy the make file of the post program that we created and then paste it in the that particular uh, directory. So we just come here, documents, and uh, YouTube here, LED button. I will just copy the make file. So just copy this so go back and then go to the blinker and then paste it here so and then i'll make the necessary changes so i can open it here just come here file open file and then make file then enter uh, this will open it up so instead of led uh led button now it is blinker so blinker blink so save now i'll go and launch my kuja and simulate this particular application using any mode so just come here launch my terminal cd contiki 3.0 tools kuja like led screen then launch my kuja sudo and run enter my password user All right, so now I'm going to okay. The Kuja has simulated as or launched. I'm going to create a new simulation. A new simulation. I'm going to call it Blinker. Blinker. Great. So I'll just come here and then I'm going to come under mode. I create a mode type and then. Uh, I'm going, let me go with you and watch this time around I'm going to browse and then i'm going to go to where i have my code so youtube uh blinker so blinker i'll select the blinker select it then compile it So uh, it has successfully compiled uh, and we did it. We don't have any serious error. So I'm going to create it. And uh, let me go with three. Uh, let me go with two and make it more simple. Add mode. So I'm adding two modes. And then I'm going to go and view the uh, LEDs. So all of them have their LEDs. And then I'm going to start. Then let's see what is going to happen. To them so we can see the griddle light turning on turning off turning on turning off does uh, turn off for two seconds turn on for two seconds turn off for two seconds turn on for two seconds uh, all right uh, if we could go to the output so uh, the blinker started the blinker process Starting a blinker process. Okay, so uh, are we? Uh, okay, and 
dann an, dann ab, dann an, dann ab, dann an, dann ab. Alright, so let me uh, uh, go to my code again. Uh, let's start, uh, let uh, blinker process. Let dot green. Uh -huh. So um, red, blue, uh, right. So uh, now let me just make a little modification to the code. Let me stop the simulation. Just make some little modification to the code. Uh, let me force the simulation and then let me remove the uh, close simulation remove let me go back to the code and just just make some little addition, addition. instead of turning on only the green uh, led let me turn all the lights so let dot all so let dot all and when it is on let us have a printout so print f and then let me have something like this uh, s slash s slash new line and then let me have something and let's uh, on and the lights are off so let me just copy this let me terminate it and when the lights are off, let me make a printout. The lights are off. The lights are off. Okay, the lights are on, the lights are off. The lights are on, the lights are off. So let me save it. And then go back and recreate the simulation again. Sorry. I minimize this. All right, here we are. So just compile here, new simulation, new simulation new simulation and then i'm going to call it blinker uh, blinker blinker so great so uh, now i'm going to go under mode add mode create no mode type and then uh, sky mode uh, yes okay let me go for sky mode this time around and i'm going to browse to that directory blinker.c i'm going to select it and i'm going to clean to get rid of the previous of the kitabus i created earlier on and restart the compilation process from scratch so all right uh, i'm having blinker coffee i'll put an error code before something i'm having something line number four 42 i'm having some errors here line number 42 line number okay i don't have statement terminated here so let me add it uh let me add it something is missing uh, uh, so let me go again and compile it so sickly compile uh -huh. So it has successfully compiled. Now I'm going to create. Let me add two as we did before. Add mode. And let me bring them here close so that we can see them. Now we can uh, view the LEDs. Uh, what type? Uh, all the same type. So as we can see, all the LEDs are off now. Now if we start the simulation. So we can see let's are on, let's are off, let's are on, let's are off, let's are on, let's are off, let's are on, let's are off. On, let's are off, let's are on, let's are off. On, let's are off, let's are on, let's are off. On, let's are off, let's are on, let's are off. Okay, they are not uh, running concurrently for when one LED is off or one LED is off uh, of the two uh, IoT devices as we can see from the output mm. mode output so when led one is off led uh, two might be on and so on and so uh, so forth so let are on let's are off let's are on let's are off sometimes they might all be on at the same time 
So this is how we can make use of the E timer to create the awning, turning on and turning off of the LED in an on on a mode. So thank you for uh, watching this uh, lecture. Uh, if there is any uh, question, you can post it under the comment section. Thank you.